All right, folks, how are you doing? It's Shabash. In this video, I'm going to be showing why I like the Tier 5 Berserker spec for the early to mid game. And we're just going to do a comparison doing a boss gauntlet and some Titan raiding. First, as uh, another generic Tier 5 spec, I happen to be Cleric at the moment. And then we're going to do Berserker afterwards. So quickly, I will just show you my gear. And we're using this world loadout. I've got a uh, top hat, uh, just the standard quality, only level 2. Got a level 4 Yeti coat, I uh, got some ornate gloomy drake leggings, and then I've managed to find uh, a pretty nice weapon actually. This is a tier 7 uh, bow of Tiamat, really nice legendary drop. Uh, I don't have any other materials on this character to level it past 4 at the moment, but you can see it's 426 attack. Also got lucky in the arena with a legendary mirror, so we're going to be getting uh, tons of mana there. And then accessories, I'm just using a uh, box standard adamantine amulet for 60 attack straight out of uh, Poundland and also a uh, famed troll storm just the best one I've found uh, so this is that's that's our gauntlet loadout so we're going to do boss mode here and I'm basically going to time so yeah I'm just going to do this is tier 6 by the way tier 6 character so the difference that cleric has Quite a lot of health compared to Berserker, uh, which is going to be a noticeable difference. But basically, my only attack buff is this single attack up, and then that's pretty much me, pretty much my character buffed up for this entire boss run. So let's see how we get on. Uh, the weapon is doing quite a lot of work, but really my gear isn't that uh, isn't that well leveled up. And it's pretty box standard stuff, you know. the The top hat is a, it's a nice helm, but it's standard quality level two. Uh, the Yeti coat level four. Really recommend everybody try and farm for one at tier four and five. Uh, just find some some snow biome in an area, and just at least get a normal quality one if you can. Find a higher quality one that will last you uh, a ridiculous amount of time. It's such a good item. I'll tell you what I'm missing as well is uh, sleep dart. So I'm just going to pause there. I'm going to go in and get sleep dart. That was a, a mistake on my my part. I could probably drop barrier two and uh, use the defense tonics and stuff, but. Uh, All right, let's go again. So even though I was blinded there, if the if your enemy is asleep, you will still hit them uh, regardless if you're blind or not. So uh, also at tier at this tier, especially going up against Ronin is uh, one of the most annoying bosses and Sleep Dart is really really good for for Ronin. And uh, we get a bit unlucky. Yeah, your wisp won't uh, heal you uh, back to sleep, won't wake you up. So I guess this is quite an offensive build anyway. I've kind of gone kind of max attack, especially in my accessory slots. So blind put her to sleep and we can hit her no problem but yeah just using tri-cut one uh, for really good mana efficiency if you get really lucky you probably wouldn't need to use a single mana potion for for the run or maybe one of one but there we go uh, roughly two minutes 40 for the boss dungeon Tier 6 boss dungeon. Let's go into tier 6 raid now, which is Titan. And okay, I'm not sure. I'll show you the gear quickly. I've got a slightly different loadout. Uh, basically the exact same gear but I've dropped the Trolls Charm for an Earthen Belt just to give me that Earth Resistance 
against the Titan spells. So hopefully 278,000 damage. Uh, I'm not too sure. I was kind of planning to do a little bit more, but uh, we'll see how we get on. So this time around, going to use Magic Shield 2 and uh, Barrier 2, Tactonic. Then we got Omni Strike. So we're going to Omni Strike until we get uh, Magic down and Defense down. Yeah, you, you definitely want to get uh, magic down on Titan. Probably need to heal. Okay, there's magic down finally. So you can see I've got the Osmo Strike 2 uh, skills. I was the Majestic class at tier 5. Other options, of course, is the Dragoon class, and you're going to be wanting to use uh, Dragon's Vengeance probably. And uh, let's just heal up to maximum here. So you can see our damage is. Uh, not too good with the Osmo Strikes, our, our healing isn't that significant, but uh, once we get going, uh, we're doing roughly 2,000 a turn with Tricot 2. And that's just with the single attack up. and Osmo Strike 2 healing us for 350 HP every time. Looks like the end of the run is coming with that double defense down, but uh, we'll see how far we get. Cast the alt. Yeah, we're down. Okay. So we did... Where are we? Right, we managed 110,000 damage in just under 4 minutes. So call it, what, like 20... 27,000 damage a minute or something like that. And I'll come back and... Yeah, so we're going to switch to Berserker and uh, see how we get on in the second half of the video. Okay, we're back with Berserker spec now. I've just changed, and I've not changed any of my gear. So World Loader still the same, Raid Loader still the same. Obviously, I have put in the Berserk 1 skill for Gauntlets here, and for Raiding. 
So let's do the same thing as before, boss mode, tier 6 gauntlet, and we'll see how we get on. Timer's on. Ah, very nice uh, Mimic King mob to get first up. Protection 2 didn't proc. Ah, tag down, that is really quite annoying. I'm just going to go with the attack tonic and then berserk 1. And I'm not going to bother with uh, defense and magic up. Defense and resistance single up. And then we're just using try cut one here actually. With Carmen, if we didn't have the attack down, you could probably two shot her with try cut two maybe. But yeah, I mean, Carbons are good because as long as you've got like a, a Dowsing Rod up, they will almost always drop like on the key. I think I've actually just forgotten to put my consumable boosters on for this run, but never mind, we're, we're speed running through it already. So, wow, it was <laughs> five Carbons in a row. And a Griffin to finish. So about 1 minute 45 there, and yeah, I forgot to put bloody boosters on, okay. Right, let's go and do some Titan raiding now, see how we get on. So just to show you again the exact same gear. This earthen belt is what's giving me a lot of survivability, uh, it's got that earth resistance. Okay, so magic shield 2, most of titan skills are yeah, magic based, and attack tonic, berserk 1, we're just using berserk 1 here by the way, we're not using berserk 2, uh, I'm looking for omni strike, okay so now we use omni strike to lower Titans stats. Uh, a little bit awkward. All right, magic down, that's what we want. And attack down as well, okay. Perfect. We don't need to lower its resistance at all. Uh, stunned is a little bit risky. Nice crit. So Tricot 2 now doing uh, between 3 and 4k. Oh, don't die. <laughs> Osmo Strike 2 also healing uh, quite significantly, 550 health. And yeah, the dot from the Berserk 1 buff is around 100 damage we have rot on us quite a lot of the time here so really with the wisp pet ah oh here we go 96 is the is the dot from the damage one which is actually giving us 50 percent more damage
So we are almost exactly a minute ahead of where we were with the cleric spec. We've just done 110,000 damage. Sorry about these frames, by the way. Getting a bit of frame loss somewhere. So I think we'll just keep going, see how, see how far we get with this run. Just a mix of Tricut 2 and Osmo Strike 2 to heal through our dots and Titan's damage. I guess the Berserker spec, you know, we do feel the effects of the 10% less health. Especially compared to the Cleric spec which had 10% um, more health than, than base, so quite a, quite a loss in HP. But, uh, oh, we're petrified, okay. Uh, this run might end here. Yeah, if you're petrified and you can't move, just uh, pot through it, and you won't get uh, a proc from your, uh, from your dots. So the berserk one dot and the rot dot. You see, they're not affecting. They're not affecting my character uh, when I'm healing with potions. So we can just uh, heal through this until we unpetrify ourselves. Here we go. So as I was trying to say, the Berserk 1 buff absolutely works for magic users as well. It gives the it just gives a 50% damage bonus to all types of damage, uh, all types of active damage now. Used to be attack only, now it also affects magic users as well. So this video really just uh, a comparison. Here comes the alt. And oh, we got uh, second chance, Blade Master second chance. Uh, still asleep. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we did. Uh, right, we could have we could have kept going there. Uh, kind of a misclick, but uh, what's our damage? Just under two hundred k. Just under two hundred k. So in summary of those comparisons then, as the cleric for the tier 6 boss dungeon, we did it in 2 minutes 39 seconds, Berserker was 1 minute 43 seconds, and that's literally 1 minute faster as Berserker. And then for the tier 6 titan raid uh, as cleric we did 110,000 damage in 3 minutes 53, and as Berserker we did 200,000 damage in 5 minutes 30, using just the Berserk 1 buff. And in terms of DPS, that uh, comes to 472 for the Cleric, and then Berserker was 608 uh, damage per second. So that's roughly a 29%, call it 30% uh, DPS increase on the Berserker spec, with all other things being the same, gear the same, uh, level the same, level 135 uh, Blade Master Berserker. So there you have, that is my comparison, uh, make of it what you will, best way to play Orna is however the fuck you want. I'm Shabash, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, ciao.